So Christmas 2013 always comes up next on YouTube. So we pretty much, you know, always fall short, but not for every video that we do. We have to develop, get in the comments and the messages, the likes and the subscribers. We build up on that and we will start to get more of them each time we you know do something like this on our channel so now we've got there now we've reached the top we don't want to plummet to the bottom we want to stay there for the rest of the time if we start to notice something's not working we will take a video off if something is working we'll keep the video on there for the time being but not straight away we want to carry on with one of uh, the movies which happens to be part of my games room so I did watch this with me mum on uh, my PlayStation 3 I think I had that at the time so I was saving money up to get another console which was the PlayStation 4 I loved the idea I loved that I could have my own controller, my own games to myself, and my own subscription card as well. So I could find all the games on there. So this one, uh, they did a sequel to it. I hardly touched um, the second movie because I thought it would spoil, you know, the first one, which was The Woman in Black. Now, if we can see from this, right, we turn the Blu-ray to one side and the woman in black is still there uh, but you can just see it you know in the distance in the background you move the blu-ray to the side and she's behind Daniel Radcliffe that's what she does throughout the entire movie she tries to scare him and he doesn't notice that she's there there's one scene where he falls asleep in the chair and she comes in and he wakes up turns around and she's vanished so he's trying to think, you know, where is this person coming from? Why is she there? So these carry on from the very first video, but we see straight away it reaches up to our WWE pay-per-views. SummerSlam uh, pay-per-views are in there. Uh, we've got Survivor Series 2010. We got Extreme Rules 2012, Hell in the Cell 13, SummerSlam 2013, Survivor Series 2013, Fast Lane, WrestleMania 30 where the streak got broken by Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate. WrestleMania 31. Money in the Bank 2014. SummerSlam 2014. Survivor Series, where Sting took on Seth Rollins and John Cena also took on Seth Rollins, so there was two wrestlers at the time going up against um, one of the main members from The Shield who was no longer with them, but he was working with Triple H and Stephanie and Kane and someone else. Now The Shield are back together. Something's happening at the moment with Dean Ambrose. Um, but I can see... They're not going to break up. I think they'll stay together. We've got John Cena's greatest rivalries from every rivalry that he's uh, faced. You've seen superstars that John Cena's come up against uh, in every single match, and he hasn't fallen short at all. He's always won every single match, but has lost a few. We have Battleground. as well we got the Royal Rumble 
Money in the Bank, Battleground, Summer Slam, and um, these are ones that move straight on to pretty much, you know, the WWE ones. Uh, so these are ones from like 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008. We got some from like uh, the 80s when you had the tagged classics or the WrestleMania ones. Uh, this is the two disc set as well with Sergeant Slaughter, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ric Flair, uh, Sid Vicious and Hulk Hogan as well. Then I put these with this one. This is also the Attitude Collection and it has every match on there with The Undertaker and some of the other WWF and WWE superstars. We've got Brett the Hitman Hart, DVD box set, We've got King of the Ring, Got The Rock, The People's Champ, Tenth Raw Anniversary, Eddie Guerrero Story, No Way Out 2004, SummerSlam 2004. Then we got the other ones here. I don't want to move these uh, DVDs because I've got my uh, Xbox 360 controller PS3 controller and the PS4. I actually moved one of my controllers and it fell, not on the floor, but just on this bit here, which was my shelf. It was all right. It wasn't damaged or anything like that. Uh, okay, so we've done um, the second shelf and the third shelf now. Here's the fourth shelf, which, of course, has our 2004 annual. Uh, it's got Raw, Smackdown, all the pay-per-views from 2013. Got Live in the UK, 2014. Got Firefly, Heroes, Season 1, 2 and 3. Him and Her, that's a good show to watch. Got Series 1 to 4 on there. Got the Lee Evans um, box set from 1994 to 2005. Got One Tree Hill, Season 1 all the way up to Season 8. Got these ones. A classic comedy, Only Fools and Horses. And when I was at my charity shop, I saw that they had Friends, Season 1 to Season 10, not in a complete box set, but the DVDs were just on their own. And it looked really good from where they were actually displayed on the shelf. I was thinking, well, I had like £4. Have I got enough? And I thought, well, probably not. Uh, we've got Prison Break. Uh, part 2 and Part 1 of Season 2. We've got Red the Wolf. The Secret Diary of a Call Girl. Skins. Spartacus. Uh, Metal Gear Solid on the PS1, Sliders, True Calling, all the 24 box sets, A-Team, Big Bang, and these ones here. 